John Crate, and we are back in Fallout 76. As you can see, I moved back to the to our uh, shelter base of operations. I had some stuff stored. The main reason I wanted to come back here was I wanted to, uh, I guess I can just build another one. I wanted to build the, uh, <clears throat> or I wanted to place down my ammo converter. What would that be under? Crafting? No. Cause yeah, I thought we had made one last time. And it's... Unless it's still up there. Let's take a quick look. I don't think I still... I don't think I left it up here, though. I thought for sure I grabbed everything. So yeah, anyway, when we left off, which was actually yesterday, we had completed some tasks for Rose, and now she's uh, giving us some information to help us get the the five pieces of, uh, of a holotape key so that we can access the uh, Raider treasure, the five original Raider Gang's treasure. The ammo machine isn't here. Just love songs. Don't Let's go back in and build one then. The ammo converter uh, is a is a nice piece of equipment. It'll help a lot with our well with our ammo uh, situation because what it is here. Let me find it and build it first. So if it's not under there. Miscellaneous structures. What is this? Oh, it's a speed bit. This is the speed bag. What would it be under here? It's not decor. Is it an appliance? I mean didn't think it would be considered an appliance, because these are, like, not usable things, they're just decorations. It's not a generator. Wait a minute. Can I just not build it in here? Let's go outside again. <laughs> anyway, okay, so what the ammo what the ammo converter does is it's pretty much just what it sounds like. Um, you f you give it ammo and then um, it's kind of a clunky system, but what it does so you give it ammo and you feed it ammo in like certain amounts, like um, fives or tens or twenties or what certain am each different ammo has a different number that you can feed it into it at. And so you feed it so X amount of ammo, and it'll give you X amount of, of ammo points. And then you can use those points to buy ammo from the machine itself. So yeah, I guess I just can't have it. I just can't have it down 
there for some reason, so that's just... Furniture entry... Oh, oh, maybe I guess we'll put it on this side. What? So basically now, we want to collect all the ammo that we find. So if you, for instance, so let's say ballistic ammo, and let's say we have some 50 millimeter, some, uh, let's say we have some 44s. We can buy, so for 200, if we spend 200 points, well, we can buy 15, if we spend 2,000, we can buy 150, like that. So. And then if we can sell it, if we sell 15 to the machine, we'll get 50 points. Well, we're planning to stay up here in the mountains. Always the perfect weather for the day. As you can see, and then we can go back. They all have different amounts. You know, some obviously certain ammo is worth more than others. But yeah, so now it's a good idea to just kind of keep all of our ammo. I just love songs. Don't you? So we want to go down to Blackwater Mine, because that's where our next, uh, that's where we can, Rose is telling us to hopefully find the first piece of the, of the puzzle. Let's see, uh, what we have for some of our missions here. Buy an item, collect purified water, visit another player's shelter, level up. Hopefully we don't have to kill 15 super mutants. I just love songs. Don't you? Yeah, we'll uh, fast travel down to the Blackwater Mine. I don't think we w did we go in there? I don't, almost don't think we did. In fact, I'm almost certain we didn't. Just like yesterday, I'm having some stomach issues. So I might start making some terrible noises. If I can feel it coming on, I'll try to mute the mic before they come on, before they start coming out of me. Oh no, we were here. There was mole miners here. There was more mole people here. We were here. We just we didn't go inside the mine because the only way to go. It's because it's like I think the only way to go inside the mine is um, for an event. Yeah. 
Oh, jeez. Okay, okay, that's not good. Pick up this, the breather. the guy what happened to the guy I shot on the steps So I'll loot this place again. Welding helmet, I don't have that. It's a new one for me, for, uh, the nose. They're going to let us in for this. So we got to find the terminals that's stashed back here. I was just a bottle, dang it. Like, 
this the entrance is so peaceful. It's I feel like this feels like entering the mines of Moria. Blackwater mine orientation. This is Foreman Hibbs, United States Department of Energy. If you're hearing this, then welcome aboard and all that. I'm sure the human resources folks have got you situated, but there's one thing I need to make sure we've drilled into you. So you gotta get it again. Blackwater Mine is a government uranium site. That means you're a federal employee now. And all those background checks and security interviews you went through wasn't just for fun. Every yield we fail to bring up is a national security problem. One less missile gets made. One less power plant gets fuel. Department of Energy isn't messing around. I'm not messing around. So stop listening to all this and get back to work. Let's dig up some shiny rocks and hope they don't make us sterile. <laughs> okay, how about Freddie Lang's holiday? <laughs> This old holotape to record onto. Look, I know this is stupid. You can't hear me. Not anymore. I don't know. Maybe this is more for me. I just oh, miss you, Lucy. More than you could ever imagine. And I can't help but feel responsible somehow. They were firing up the snowmakers, and I knew you didn't like skiing, so I didn't even mention I was going. <laughs> I thought you'd talk me out of it. I wish I had told you, though. We're both hard-headed, but one of our stubborn asses would have caved, and then... We'd be together one way or the other. Maybe it's for the best. These people I'm with... Probably wouldn't understand us, either. I've had to get even tougher than before. I have had to steal and kill. Worse still, I've had to hide who I am behind this facade. I'm alive, I guess. But who am I now? Am I still the same Alfredi you knew? Would you even still like me? I hope you'd understand. Gotta be strong to survive. And if that means playing mean and leading a bunch of other monsters to prey on the weak, then that's what I gotta do. But off. <laughs> Sounds like the boys are getting back. that mean face back on. I wish the bombs never took you from me, Lucy. I love you. Always will. So that was the leader of the Blackwater Bandits. Freddie Lang, Freddie Lang's logs. Let's see what they have to say here. Check the terminal. Rose here. Not that I'm a creep, but I was watching you through the viewfinder again and saw you enter the mine. Can you still hear me? Ah, whatever. It's not like you can radio back. Anyhow, if I recall, 
all, we completely lost track of the Blackwater Bandits back in 96. <sighs> Freddy wasn't looking too good last time we saw her alive. Not her usual bright and spirited self. Real sick. Her hair looked awful. Something happened in that mine hideout of theirs. Not sure what, but if you can figure it out, I bet you'd be able to track down that key fragment. I'll catch up with you when I see you crawl out of that cave. I'm guessing we gotta start at the bottom. We finally cracked the password for this thing. It was pumpernickel, like the bread. The previous Horman's locker hadn't been cleaned out. We found it written on a crumpled note in there. Lucky find, huh? That stupid robot outside wasn't any help. The guys seemed to like him, though, so I guess we're keeping him around. Anyway, now it's my terminal. As the leader of this ragtag group of bandits, I'm using it as my own log for whatever comes to mind. Ever since I lost her to the war, I've got no one to confide in. No one I trust with my thoughts. This is the closest thing I've got now. I swear if one of these assholes ruins this for me, I'll send them packing with a bullet in the back of their head. I miss you so much, Lucy. If you only knew what I've had to become. Sometimes I wonder, maybe it's for the best you checked out when you did, so you didn't have to see me this way. Then again, I'm real good at what I do. It's crazy how naturally burglary comes to me and how tough I've become. I mean, I always had to be tough. But you knew that. Growing up where we did, people gave us sh people gave us shit for who we were. It usually took handing out a fat lip or a black eye to make people respect me. I guess I've carried that into my new life. You'd be proud of that, at least. I stood up, took charge. I'm leading. They actually like me. They don't. They know better than to come on to me. And I don't have to say. And I don't have to say nothing no more. If you're watching, somehow, just know that everything I do, I do to survive. Don't hate me. Margie came down with some of her diehard losers to check out the new place. She said she wants to gather up everyone's key fragments to make some sort of backup copies in case something happens to one of them, or some BS like that. F that. We all know that... We all know you had a problem with Bossman Thorpe, Margie. You're lucky we cut you into the cash, but somehow you keep us all supplied with chems, so yeah. Still, we ain't gonna hand over all our keys so you can run off with all our stuff. Nice try, but no way. Hit up a band of travelers coming through the mountains. Got a lot of good loot and supplies out of it. They said they were hauling goods to some survivors over the hills, so we should check, that, check out that settlement soon. One of them looked like you. I hesitated just briefly. She pleaded for her life, started screaming. I had to do it, or she'd attract the others, or who knows what. Maybe I shouldn't have. These mines are a good hideout. No one ever comes looking for us here anyway. In other news, I had to shoot Frank dead. He thought he could make a little make a little of the t he thought he could take a little off the top and keep it for himself. Now he's sharing his cash with everyone as a reminder to not get greedy. I don't know what it is, maybe just a bad flu or something, but we're all starting to ache and feel weak. We were using chems to offset the effects, but it's taking a long time to get over it without any doctors around, and we're almost out. The cutthroats still have a ton of chems, especially now that the diehards are bringing them all to the top of the world. I think they'd be willing to trade, trade us a case of chems for the mini nukes we stole from those Brotherhood of Steel guys. I know I told you no more chems. That was long ago, and the world's a different place, babe. I'm only taking what I need to get through the day with this illness. Lots of people getting real sick now. It's been a while, and it's not going away. My hair's been falling out. Skin's peeling. I can't eat. Wish I could find out who exposed us to this freaking plague so I could kill him myself. You told me to never give up, love. I won't. I'll get through this, just like everything else. I'm going to do you proud. That asshole. I told everyone, no messing with the machines down in the mine. We didn't know what they did, and the last thing we need is our new home collapsing. Guess what, though? Rob came clean after I threatened to neuter him. He just had to get drunk and mess with the stupid machine. Want to know what it does? It leaks radiation all over the place, apparently, and he's been tinkering with it in secret for months. He caused a massive leak, and now people are dying because of him. We got people who look like corpses, still writhing around but not responding. At least Rob's not moving anymore. Trying to stay strong, trying to not give up. Not giving up, getting harder to think straight. Sick glowing. 
Her skin glowing. So sick. I tried. It feels good to be down in the mine. Warmer, near the radiation. Just gonna sleep there. Wait for whatever. Are any of these important? Yeah, these are just about how the foreman has to keep lay has to keep laying off people, and then eventually he gets laid off. Okay, so now we gotta find the key fragment. Red hard hat. Don't see those too often. I didn't kill these guys. Oh, am I over encumbered because of that? Yes, I am. Seriously, all that's in here? That's a rip off. Oh, 
Freddie Lang had the key fragment. And a lot of other good stuff. Hopefully there's a workbench in here somewhere. Going through all the things you've unlocked again. I'm taking some radiation. What do we got here? If I could sell these floater grenades, that would be great, but unfortunately, that is not a thing you can do. God, stop with the score thing already. What is this? Water monitoring systems? Offline since 2020. Exterior pump status. Water level status? Uninhabitable. Radioactivity status? Yeah, the radiation is uh, likely to develop cancerous organs. Yeah, it's a little high. No wonder they were having issues. Remote door control. I was hoping I'd get the sneak attack on him, but... Yeah, still 
lots of radiation. Gotta see what we can grab and get the hell out of here. Yes. I probably missed a bunch of these. Rose is going to contact us about our next stop, and hopefully the scoreboard thing stops doing that at some point here. Great. She gave me a raider left arm. That's that's great. Didn't even learn anything from it. That's my chest piece. Let's 
Let's go back to camp. Because I want to sell off some of this stuff. I want to get more carry weight is kind of the idea. So we're going to sell off some stuff. Um, I know I'm holding a bunch of missiles too, so I'll drop those off into the ammo converter. Because those are like three pounds each. I think I can drop like probably 21 pounds just from those alone. Of those are most of those I want to keep. Yeah, nice up here in the mountains, but yeah, it's got to be under explosive yeah, ammo. Robot will Missiles. stop blabbing over the radio. <laughs> Don't mind me, just taking it all in. Oh, I didn't have enough. I only could get rid of three. I probably have five then. Some aren't that heavy, it's not a big deal. Okay, let's get to the uh, train station. No one, shut up. storm, I think it's about time that we part ways. You're just not use that useful anymore. Now in stock. Goods acquired through questionable means. Unit is equipped with anti-theft measures. Don't get any ideas, chump. Oh, wait. It's dangerous to go alone. It's Dangerous to go in groups. It's just dangerous out there. So stock up. In. What else can I get rid of? Oh, 
I carry I put too much stuff in here. so much freaking canned dog food. I think I can sell off some of that. <laughs> Now that I have the um, Collectron going. I'll keep some of the food though. Like the Salisbury steaks are pretty, at least somewhat handy. Okay, that freed up some space. I thought I did, actually. Yeah. I have the mining helmet. Oh. As ridiculous as that suit looks, I'd still like our uh, current... our current outfit. Still can dog food, of course. <laughs> okay, let's sell off the dog food. Previously owned loot for sale, mostly blood free. And how much alcohol do I have right now? Because if, if we have 25, we can do that. It'll only require one addictol to get rid of the alcohol addiction. So we have 18 right here. Uh, 23. So yeah, that should be enough. Rum is 24. Oh yeah, easy. So let's just drink all the wine. Yes, I'm fully aware that I've become addicted.
So now we can put the rest of the alcohol, well, except for the beer. We put all the bourbon. So the beer is pretty useless. Nadictal now. Oh my god, is it going to go through all of it again? It is. If I go to the scoreboard, will it stop? next. Come on, stop. <sighs> We're going to have to go through this crap again. We have some stuff to cook up, too. I guess we're gonna deal with it. Also, just to make sure we are not addicted anymore. No, we are not. Let's, uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go to the Middle Mountain Cabins. Then we can go here, 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 then here. And then hopefully hit this area, too. they want to go through there. What's this? Because there's something down this way too. like a power plant. Some sort of something radioactive. There's a limo out front. Emmett Mountain Disposal Site. 
want to interact. You give me like your radiation suit, I th think that would be useful. I don't have one of those yet. Guys all have radiation suits. I need one. Hey, a penny. Copper's always handy. Be <laughs> careful out there. Welcome to Emmett Mountain. Population us. And a bunch of ghouls. Hazmat suits don't grow on trees. Took forever to collect all these. Well, do you have any more? So you're wearing hazmat suits, hazmat but you're not suits wearing the helmet. Don't grow on trees. It took forever to collect all these. You're not wearing your helmets for him, though. Something tells me if I kill them, they aren't going to drop them either. So I'm not going to. Anybody can hoard tin cans. We do what the rest won't. What's that? Live in a radioactive dump? Get what you people are even doing here. I'm not gonna go in there because I don't you have. You here? Somebody there? Oh, has my suit. Ah, ha, 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 I have it. I was too close. Hazmat suit. I don't. I don't think I want to go in there. Lucky. I don't even know what's in here, though. I've never been in here. So One I guess. One person's junk is another's gold balloon. Let's give it a shot, huh? Probably full of full of ghouls. Today keeps the goals away. There's kind of people in here. I want the 
that. Just look at all this destruction. How could that war possibly have been worth it? Try not to slip on the sludge piles. Man, you guys got up some good stuff here. All the stuff left behind after the war. We should make good use of it. Damaged? No, I do not want a damaged hazmat suit. I already picked up a couple hazmat suits, and I'll stick with the one that, uh, I should probably just check to see which one has the most durability right now. And drop the other ones, because they're not worth much. <laughs> divide. Hey, a penny. Copper's always handy. <clears throat> yes, get rid of my radiation, please. are prepared. Normally you buy low and sell high, but in our case we're buying for nothing and selling for as much as we can get. I, yeah, I have not been here before. At least not since like NPCs took it over. This is kind of cool. I heard there's a super mutant in Appalachia who's all about business. Now there's a guy with his priorities straight. All this stuff left behind after the war. We should make good use of it. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm stealing it from you, because you guys are just going to kind of idle here. Anybody can afford tin cans. We do what the rest won't. I don't understand Came what it prepared, is. Came prepared, I see. I don't understand what it is that you do, though. Just look at all this destruction. How could that war possibly have been worth it? Suit on, I'm getting three, four rads. Holy crap! Hazmat suits don't grow on trees. Took forever to collect all these. Yeah, which is why I stole, what, four of them from you? Today keeps the ghouls away. <laughs> I wish. So many have come to Appalachia for the gold. They don't see the value in what's just laying around. Until they show them what's for sale. The 
does this one not work? The one we saw earlier works. If I have to pick up one more box of flawless specimens, labor? I'm gonna lose my mind. A lot of people think of themselves as scavengers. Okay, let's try down in the, these ones. Oh. Found something. I found a lot of brain fungus, which I'm not going to complain about. I love brain fungus. Your perk went off. <sighs> oh, from this. I'll take the syringe ram. Star with the rest. Sure, we take things, but we're cleaning up this mess as well. So we're back here. Am I over encumbered? I am. One person's junk is another's gold bullion. From what? Oh, all well, the hazmat suits. What I'm wearing has the most, uh, has the biggest condition bar, so yeah, let's just do that. And we got a leather left leg as well. If I have to pick up one more box of raw asbestos, I'm going to lose my mind. your computer? I'm curious what it is. Emmett Mountain Disposal Terminal. Direct the progress of nuclear waste, waste storage. Disposal cells 1 through 8 have been fully excavated and structural supports with, uh, 
are in place. Each cell is rated to hold 128.55 gallon drums of nuclear waste, which puts our capacity at 1,024 drums. We should have a batch that was... We already have a batch that was delivered this week, delivered this week waiting for storage. So it looks like we're open for business. See, Seismos went nuts this morning, and all the cameras and disposal cell 2 are dead. It looks like the support snapped and we've had a cave collapse. Two of my guys were in that cell doing inspections, but there's been no sign of them since the accident. When we started evacuating, or excavating the cell, the Geiger counter spiked, which meant we were looking at a containment breach. At this point, I'm declaring the trapped workers as deceased, and we'll have to seal the area. I've contacted the foreman at the Federal Disposal Field, HC-21, for assistance. Even after sealing Disposal Cell 2, we've been reading high levels of radiation. We're still, most of my staff are starting to show signs of radiation poisoning. I sent requests up the ladder to the emergency, to the energy department, but all they came back with were two medical doctors who had more questions than answers. They kept poking and prodding at my men, asking them how they feel, but not really treating them. I was starting to think we're being used as lab rats to test the long-term effects of radiation sickness on humans. It's ridiculous. I'm driving up to Washington tomorrow to give them a piece of my mind. I've been assigned to Emmett Mountain to re Oh, no good person, Donald Clark. I've been assigned to Emmett Mountain to replace outgoing site manager, site manager Wesley Wyskowski. I'm not sure why he left this assignment so abruptly, and frankly, I don't care. This is a big promotion for me, and I couldn't be happier. The first order of business will be to go over every square inch of this facility and look for any uh, deficient construction or equipment failures that could be contributing to the accidents they've been suffering. I'm also looking forward to working with the doctors we have on site who are helping monitor the employees' health. Health. Nice to have them watching our backs. Donald Clark still. After an extensive survey of the site, I can confirm that the accident in Disposal Cell 2 was caused by deficient construction materials. They used wooden supports, for goodness sake. How anyone would expect these to not to dry rot under these conditions is absolutely beyond me. I've recommended that all seven remaining disposal cells receive metal reinforcements immediately. Beyond that, we've lost 30 of the 55-gallon drums of waste in the collapse, and they're likely see seeping into the groundwater. It's absolutely infuriating that this facility was constructed so poorly. I think I'll have a nice long chat with my supervisor back in D.C. <laughs> supervisor Amelia Reynolds. I've been assigned to the Emmett Mountain. I've been assigned to Emmett Mountain to replace outgoing site manager Donald Clark. Everything at, em at Emmett Mountain is running smoothly and within acceptable acceptable parameters. I've canceled all the ridiculous work orders created by Donald Clark, and I will carefully search for other ways to cut unnecessary costs. Yeah, that's that's the Fallout universe for you. Came down from there, right? So and a stealth boy. See, they, this this side had some stuff on it for once. What about the other side? Yeah, I'm still taking a lot of radiation. Aha! Now here I am fiddling with a lock surrounded by toxic waste. Let's make this quick. Oh, there's a 
duffel bag with nothing in it. Super mutant right hand. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and guess this is why they didn't want anyone looking into this. This is where they were getting rid of their uh, super mutant experiments. Today keeps the goals away. I wish. There we go. Oh, I still have some. Turn on again, please. I wasn't done. One person's junk is another's gold bullion. Uh, or are you a newcomer too? Do I need to get off the get off the bench? I, I want to use it. Why live by spruce knobs rules when we can make our own? Five pounds of aluminum, ten pounds of steel. Get off the thing. Move now. is just sitting here staring directly at Bub and it's making Bub uncomfortable. <laughs> She's getting ready for her mittens to just like pounce on her. She's all tense. Ah, mittens is giving up. Go, cool. good. Leave her alone for a little bit, mittens. Freaking her out. Sure, we take things. Oh no, I didn't, want, didn't want to pick up the well. damaged one. How goes? Just look at all this destruction. Oh, I can't How take your more possibly been worth it. Rid of the damaged hazmat suit. Put on my hazmat suits don't grow on trees. It took forever to collect all these. Put on my actual armor here. Anybody can hoard tin cans. Oh, I didn't do, level up. The rest won't. Level up. I'll wear it while I see it. Hey, a penny. Copper's always handy.
Maddox a day keeps the goals away. I wish. One person's junk is another's gold bullion. Scavenge with the best or starve with the rest. All the stuff left behind after the war. We should make good use of it. Hazmat suits don't grow on trees. What do I it took forever to, to collect all these. Of raw asbestos. I'm going to lose my mind. Let's increase our uh... five pounds of aluminum, ten pounds of steel. Grim Reaper Sprit. Scavenge with the best or stop yeah, with the rest. Could upgrade that to three as well. Sure, we take things, but I'm oh, cleaning well, up. I don't need crack well. shot really anymore. Oops. Yes, that's good right there. Anybody can hoard tin cans. We do, but the rest won't. Five pounds of aluminum, ten pounds of steel. Cause that just that one only affects the for pistols. It only affects how far they shoot, and like it steadies the aim down the down the barrel a little bit. But I've got a scope, and I'm usually pretty close when I'm using it anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Away. I wish. That was a fun little adventure. Left after the war. We should make good use of it. Do you guys have another workbench that I can use? Because. One in there Hazmat is... suits don't grow on trees. Shot. It took up. forever to collect all these. Oh dear lord. What does this computer do? Oh, it's the same one. South, so to get the next. I saw there's another Blood Eagles camp also, but let's go get the invest investigator's cabin. At least that's what it's called on the map. I think I know. Um, yeah, I think I know what that place is. Keep turning your back to me. Who goes there? Just me. Bam. Have to do everything myself. Yeah, you do. See with the, with the concentrated fire, 
every time I sh it makes sense that every time I shoot every time I shoot at a target in bats uh, my percentage chance goes up Critical shot, just get rid of them. Oh. <laughs> that was convenient. I got some decent stuff on them. Legendary Deadly Wolf? All those stim packs I found. get him. Hopefully he didn't just heal all of that after I died. Yeah, you heard that, didn't ya? Auto stim, heavy leather left leg. That's a full fusion core, isn't it? What keeps sh talking, what keeps saying, uh, advertisement? Because I want to turn that off. And I'm over encumbered. Because I picked up the Gatling laser. What's this done? The Bureau of Alcohol? Uh, what does the D stand for in this? Alcohol something, tobacco, firearms, and lasers. 
the D. I can't remember. Investigative report. Investigative report, Shelby O'Rourke. I met a VTU, a Vault Tech University student named Shelby O'Rourke, who is making preparations for her thesis study. She believes she can prove the existence of local area cryptid Mothman, Grafton, Snally, etc. She said she was making plans for her base somewhere in northeastern Appalachia in the swamp area. O'Rourke's certainly in her O'Rourke's certainly in her ability to find proof may mean she's worth keeping an eye on. My initial background check didn't reveal much of an exemplary, if not eccentric, student at VTU. Curtis Wilson's terminal. Stay vigilant to find the truth. Personal note. My name is Curtis Wilson. The BADTFL originally sent me out here to investigate the Free States Movement. I worked closely with the local sheriff, Scott Darcy. However, during the course of the investigation, we turned up vast conspiracies originating from our own government institutions. One second. Excuse me. It became clear that if I wanted to get to the bottom of this, I would need to quit my job and do my own invest investigations. Then the war happened. And we survived. Suddenly, doors were not shut right where were not shut tight. We were now wide. Suddenly, doors that were shut tight were now wide open and unguarded. But before we could get over, get our answers, and finish our investigations, Sheriff Darcy turned up dead under suspicious circumstances. I'm taking it as a sign that I should leave and continue my investigations elsewhere when the time is right. The contents of my findings will remain inaccessible until then. The world needs to know. Investigation. The mysterious guides don't. Oh. So he said that these are all, all uh, locked down until he returns, I guess. The mysterious guide stones, the Mothman cult, Atlas, the quarantine, domestic bugs, and the mysterious signal. Oh, I never picked up my dropped loot, did I? Yeah, I've found this place before, but I honestly have no idea if we're still waiting for him to return, like in a future pat, like in a future um, update to the game, or if that's, or if this is something we can do. Uh, but now it's saying we can find Shelby O'Rourke's shack, which I'm guessing is up by the Free States locations. Yeah. Let's turn that off. For now, we're gonna head south into here. See what this is. Then we'll head over to uh, the trapper's camp. This is where the settlers are down here. This was Spruce Knob. I believe it's called the Foundation now. Oh, and there's an area down here that we can get. Oh yeah, we're still in over encumbered. Great. Lakes. Don't. Th I think there might be something related to Brotherhood of Steel here. I can't remember, but. In fact, we're gonna find out. Hold on a second. No, I can't fast travel while I'm over in Cumber. But. That's what the excavator armor is for. 
not only does putting it, getting it out of my inventory reduce my weight by 10 pounds. But it increased my base carry weight to 310. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's go back to camp. Eventually, it's counting these possum as enemies around me, so... It gives, like, ten seconds for the enemy to, like, stop, to attack you and stop you from going. If, you're, if there are enemies around it then you have to wait a little bit. Because if they hit you, then then it stops and you can't fast travel. First of all, let's see what we can get rid of. I can get rid of all of my ten millimeter ammo since I got rid of Perfect Storm. not going to make a difference in my weight. Ammo like weighs nothing. But at least I can trade them in for shotgun shells now. Come on. Life has changed so much. So quickly. Have any 38s? I would have thought I'd have picked up a few 38s. Oh. Don't have enough of those either, I guess. I do. Ha I sh I know I picked up another missile, so I should be able to do three missiles now. Shelter door there. A good one. This weighs 18 and a half pounds. Actually, this is just this is just as good. I 
can even we can make it better even. And it'll have to automatically use a stim pack. When I'm at when my health is 25% or less. And it gives me plus one strength. So yeah, we're gonna use this. And make it pocketed. And sure, we're gonna make it the red viper, because why the hell not? So yeah, that's gonna be our new fiber to repair that. That doesn't. I kind of just want to wait until it entirely breaks if it's going to take ballistic fiber. to make these any better. Nope. Or wait. Nope. Reinforced is... No, the fiberglass is better. I frickin' repaired that, didn't I? Huh. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, nothing really needs to be repaired right now. So, the weapons. Oh, look at all that brain fungus soup. drink some of that right now since I have so much of it. There, fill up my fill up everything there. Okay. Um you know what, let's make some ammo to use try and use up some of our junk. put Ammo Smith on, though. Oh, so Ammo Smith is on. I've been wasting a spot. Oh, I should have. I should have sneak on. Yes, I should have sneak on. <laughs> and now I'm. Uh, I'm making a couple mistakes here. <laughs> okay, ammo. Give me some. Where's my shotgun shells? Those are the more important ones. Give me some 45s, because I did go through a bunch of 45s when I was using the combat rifle. Give me some more 44s, just because... Some more 308s, even though I have a bunch of 308s. That should last quite a while. Is there anything else I can make here that'd be cool? What do I have too much of? Attention citizens. 
Nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. Gunpowder, please. Oh, give me back those bulks so I can sell them. I want to keep the electromagnetic cartridges, they're kind of rare. Where's that nuke coming down? Yeah, usual spot. Now to go sell off some stuff, and we're gonna have a lot of carry weight until I pick up some more Gatling, some more. <laughs> Freaking Gatling lasers. Now that I can take a ton of ammo, I should consider start taking the, uh, the uh, bandolier perk, which reduces the weight of ammo. Oh, I gotta put sneak on. Okay, gotta put sneak on. a little better. Level 20. Hello. Oh, I should probably store the spiked black diamond since I'm still Please using Please don't this. stab other customers while they shop. Just kidding. One, two, buy or sell. Add a 
hard day of killing and looting. Don't want to haul it back yourself. Sell it here. Golf outfit. Oh, and one of the... Here, let's go to his camp. To who's your daddy's camp. <laughs> because one of the things is to buy... One of the daily challenges is to buy three things from another... Or to sell three things to people. Well, I don't have any vending machines set up, so I gotta buy. So it looked like he had some ammo for sale. Let's go buy three pieces. Go buy three bullets for... Aw, uh, you spawned me in the water. At least I'm not taking radi radiation yet. Let's give me a grace period. This unit will not be accepting requests to sit on Santa's I'm not gonna steal from him, though. Always we nice to have visitors on that job. for the inconvenience. Ooh, a purple sloth rug. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that before. Where's your vending machines, my man? There is one. Let's see something else, some plans that are cool that I could use. Polly's old head. How do you get that? Attempt to acquire a Christmas. A recipe Food stim pack. That's worth 400. Reason. All trees contain highly dangerous levels of radiation. Mankind is a naughty way. On this gentle planet. Oh, oh, oh. There. I'm just kind of shook these nightmares. Please don't <laughs> do everything again. Just. Why? Okay, it looks like we're good. I haven't used yet. Yeah, that stim pack recipe, that's gonna come in handy. Oh, beavers. Okay, I thought there were more rats coming after me. Come on, I, tr I hit the map button. Show me the map. Okay, so we're gonna head south into this little... Oh, well, we'll, ch we'll check out the Twin Lakes. I think there's some good uh, lore here. Just gotta find out where it is. Try and figure it out. There, if we're gonna be doing this, though. We're gonna be in the water. Let's get the hazmat suit on. But I'm almost certain that, like, there's a. I might be thinking of a different uh, lake, obviously, but like, there's like a little cave that they that some of the first Brotherhood of Steel members out in this area. That some military survivors took refuge in. Raider note. I'm done with Milo. Milo, he never shuts up. After last night's job, we don't need him any anymore. You know how he's always bragging about how long he can hold his breath? Let's find out if it's true. You know what to do. Oh, and throw all the shit in with him.
was thinking that would be his backpack. I'm not seeing him in here, though. I think it'd be pretty stupid to try and drown him in this lake. It's not deep. Unless it's in this. This is Twin Lake, after all. I'm, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Down to thirty nine missed impacts. So I was trying to head this way. just a rock.
now I'm just following the... I'll look that up and maybe we'll come back here. I'll look it up and see if I'm right about this place and we can come back later. sun, but is that a fissure? No, that has to be the place that we're, that I'm thinking of, that we're heading towards, right? No, that's, oh, it's bringing me there. No, we want to go, yeah, this is, so it must be that mar map marker. Frag mine. Oh, come, why is it fluctuating? It's not like the mine is moving. so far. Huntersville. Oh, this is a whole new town to explore. Guessing it's going to be a little more close combat than I thought, so let's get this going. Myers Terminal. Listen, Buckethead is so much. Oh dear, super mutants. Rip his legs clean off. Oh, we don't need to read those. I can tell you what those are. We're getting out of here. So, Huntersville. Okay, um. Huntersville's full of super mutants. I'm remembering this now. All the terminals talk about... As you can see, they're down the ways from, from this place. I forget what this place is called. We'll find out eventually. Um, but it's a government... 
testing site, essentially. And what they do... And th that's the building where they, um... Where they did, uh... Experiments for s to create super mutants in this area of the world. I mean, there were facilities like that all over America before the bombs dropped. With, um... I can't think of the name of the of the of the disease they created that or the the, the virus that creates the super mutants. Well, I'm sure it'll come to me in a later. Um, but they were experimenting with because the it was supposed to they were trying to make essentially a super soldier serum, but instead it came out to make creatures like super mutants who are apparently mindless. I mean, obviously they're super soldiers in a way, but they're, yeah, they just, they're mindless. In the other sense. So some of the experimentation was, gonna, was done on Huntersville from that facility. So a lot of the computer terminals and journals that are in there are a lot of, um... First, most of the townspeople are elated that there's, like, a government facility that's that's providing jobs nearby. Um, but then, you know, their neighbors start disappearing or, they're, or else they're put in quarantine. Um, and then eventually they start losing, they start turning into super mutants as well, so a lot of their journal entries don't make so much sense anymore. And that's kind of the common pattern that a lot of them... camp here. Even with a 95% chance I missed it. not go as planned. How did I get to this point? And I can't, um, spawn right at the camp because I hadn't discovered it yet. I guess Investigator's Cabin is the closest. accidentally blow up the car? What the hell happened? Here's a little building. Surrounded by airproof trash. <laughs> Wild, Cranberry, Dark, 
in a bottle. <laughs> How great was that? Where even is this? Just this, just a rest stop? Looks like it. Yep, information and rest stop. Okay. Makes sense. didn't apparently have anything huh? on me. Who goes there? No one. Shut up. Come on, I, hit, I scored a critical hit on his head. Another nuke is launched. Fun. Attention, citizens. Nuclear strike imminent. Ripper Please out. exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. Oh, well, you're way over there. Still another, at least one more here. A nuclear launch key that we will not be using. I should probably just make sure it's not dropping the nuke on me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> again. Of course I am. Scout's life six. I'll take that. You guys have to have something resembling a workbench, right? Oh, I didn't trigger the trap somehow. Back here somewhere? We've got a cooking station. Not quite what I was looking for. Don't have an asylum worker uniform, at least I'm pretty sure I don't.
that's good. I need you guys to have just any kind of workbench. I don't care what kind, just any kind. Trapper's camp. They have to have. For being a raider camp, they have to have uh, something. We're gonna work our way there. <laughs> kind of slowly, but we're gonna work our way there. How far is it? Oh, it's not that far. We can do this. She said to watch out for traps, as it's called the Trapper's Camp. Let's get that stamina back up. too much about enemies since you know they're all dead there shouldn't be any trappers left tripwires and bear traps and punji boards. seeing any. Trapper's Note. Those mutant bastards attacked us, Thorpe. We told you we needed help from your guys to go hit them first. Thanks for nothing. They took Walter and some of the others back to Huntersville. Don't know what they were do going to do with them, but I ain't sticking around to find out. Walter's probably dead now, and he's got the tape. So there goes the cash. This is on you. You want it back? Check Huntersville for Walter's body. He was last seen wearing his crazy camo duds. The last of us are abandoning ship. We're done with this. Chuck. So I guess we're going to Huntersville anyway. not have any workbenches here.
And I must have hit some sort of trap that time. I don't know what it was. Whoa, something else hit me. armor and head to Huntersville. First, let's discover this. Where's my melee weapon? go. There was a second one. I know there was. How'd you get over there? So fast. Backbone. Oh, ballistic piper. Military. Ah, oh, everything's military here. Yes. Hey, you're coming back. Give me your meats. Why can't I highlight you? I want your meats. far is it to back to Huntersville? Okay, it's not that far. We'll just we'll just hike it. Let's get on the road. I think the road to Huntersville has like some interesting, I think there's some more lore on this road up to heading north. about. I'm guessing he's chasing some sort of animal. Maybe that one guy, we encountered a guy that was afraid of chickens and running away from one. Maybe that guy was chasing after one. that has the lore. Fine. Pop up. Okay, you. Get over here. up right now, so. Okay. Brother 
Brotherhood corpse. Graveyard note. Paladin Swafford, ad Victorium. There's like a hollow tape here. Oh, I should get a sh I should take that shovel. I do need a shovel. going, buddy. Go get him. Come on, Raider Thief. You got this. He's got some sort of plasma flamethrower. I'm following you in, man. for some reason. Hello. Hey, it's Terrified Keggy. Was marked. Oh, do I have to like kill a bunch of these? Super do I have to like kill all the super mutants as well? Or <coughs> this is harder than you.
call. There we go. So much. Clearly some more, uh, some more, uh, armor is needed. Gaining health, how am I dead? isn't working. Um... try to kind of stealth their way through this, not through this door. I'm going to try to go the other direction. So give me back my rifle, because that's got a uh, silencer on it.
is like he's right in there. He's just right there. under caution though. Not sure who sees me. But I do want that legendary, whatever that legendary super mutant is holding. Okay, I got the key right. Hmm, I see some commotion over in Huntersville. Gotta be you, huh? Yeah. I kinda figured the mutant brutes got to Walter and the trappers. Then again, maybe it wasn't such a bright move sticking around when they found out the town was run amok with those big dumb glutes. Why don't you go figure out what happened to the diehards next? Probably just plain stopped after Margie finished. <laughs> Bunch of useless old softies. Margie had her own room at the Sunny Top Ski Lanes. It's her last known location. See if she left anything behind. go after I find a uh, workbench, because I think I'm carrying... Whoa. They're upstairs. I don't even want to deal with them right now. Get me out of this house. You don't, you don't see me. Hard, I think the hardware store would have one. Don't apparently. Stop hiding. Some place in this town has a workbench.
it's like I'm, I'm like I'm over encumbered. I might as well just pick everything up. assault rifle stuff. some space. <laughs> so anyway, where do they want me to go next? North? Way north? Apparently. Sunny Top Ski Lanes. Margie's last location. Jeez, that's so that's a little up there. Tell you what, for right now, we are going to go discover uh, Spruce Knob. Because you can fast travel there for free. Uh, is what, I've, what my understanding is that you can fast travel to, uh, I guess, Foundation and the crater, which is where the raiders live for free, so might as well open up that that avenue. So here, let's, if we turn, whoops, if we turn on a uh, settler leader, talk to the settler leader, it'll give us a map marker. Is it really this way? Yeah? Okay. Just making sure. Oh, no. I should still stay hidden. Well, actually, maybe not. I'm close to getting that 15 super mutants. Huh. I'm hearing stuff. No, let's just go. Storing all their meat bags in, the, in this truck. Just sneak on out of town and then we'll st start moving a little faster. weather is this? <laughs> it looks like a rad storm, but I'm not taking rad damage, so... I'm, st I'm st 
stuck. Oh, now it's a rainstorm, okay. Looks like I'm gonna discover a forest of some kind before I hit before I hit spruce knob. Spruce knob campground. daily mission. Like the, the factions also have a daily mission that you can do to increase your reputation with them. And like the higher your reputation with the faction is, the, the better uh, stuff you can like buy from them essentially. So yeah, vital equipment. Covered foundation. Looks like we got a few things. We can talk to Ward about vital equipment, talk to Maggie about Monaga Mine, talk to the settler leader uh, that have just appeared for us being in Foundation. So maybe we'll check those out next time. Or else we'll just maybe we'll either do that or we'll just come back here another time and we'll keep going with Rose's quest. Uh, we can probably talk. We'll talk to these guys and then we'll start their quests. We don't have to finish I right away. For a refill. We can go to finish Rose's quest first. So yeah, I am going to sell some, probably sell some stuff, and then I'm going to log out. So, uh, I guess that's where I'll leave you. So next time on Vault 76, talk to Foundation members and continue trying to find Rose's key. So, until then, as usual, John Crate, 